What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast, episode 112. We are on the week, the cusp of the creme de la creme. Elden oh. Ring comes out on Friday, baby. We've waited for the so long. Out. And it's we're finally upon it. I am, I know you're Damn. hyped, Nick. I'm hyped. Yeah. We're gonna be doing the New Zealand trick on Thursday night. It's gonna oh, be we're gonna be we're gonna be <laughs> gaming the system big time on Thursday. Yes. Yes, I will I be think... all the way across across the world on <laughs> <laughs> those New Zealand servers. They're gonna be like, "Do we have this many people? Do we have this many? Uh... <laughs> Do we have these people in our country? What is going on right now?" But my name is Harrison. I am joined by my brother Nick. As always, Nick, how was your how was your week? Oh, it's been good, man. I I went to the mountains this weekend, and. It was just uh just western western North Carolina, and we we were thinking about snowboarding and skiing, but um one of the girls who was coming with us, she had like broken her or dislocated her shoulder oh fun like two weeks ago, and initially she was like, yeah, I, I think I'll ski if I'm feeling better and we were like, dude, you like <laughs> you broke maybe, your shoulder. Not, maybe not no, nah, maybe just hold off, <laughs> just don't so we just we chilled and it was it was pretty fun, um, cool. yeah, hung out in the hot tub. And you know, nice. I drank some beers and played some games. So super fun weekend. And then uh, did you got did you go some... into the hot tub sober and drink some beers and then came out like two <laughs> times as drunk? <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> it yeah, it will like I feel like you feel it in the hot tub, and once you get out, it's like okay, I don't feel as drunk as I was in the hot tub, but I still feel drunker than I was when I got in. Yeah, it's just because like it just it dehydrates you, so you just yeah. It's, uh, apparently, it's super bad yeah. to do. Apparently, you're really yeah, people to. people have yeah like drowned and passed out because of that. So they'll just hang on the hot tub for hours and just drink, and then just not think about it. And then all of a sudden, they're shit faced. So and, yeah, yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Water. Yeah, but yeah. So we did that, and, <laughs> and that was fun. Uh, then we came back yesterday and just played some games yesterday, and then did some skateboarding today, and. Now I'm just, I jumped on the hype train, man. Now I'm just riding the hype train until, until Thursday. I know I, it hasn't felt real until like today, until this week <laughs> I woke up and I was like, <laughs> I was just three oh, days remaining oh, yes. dawn of the dawn of the third day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which, exactly. which is actually very topical because Majora's yeah. Mask is coming. Yeah. Are you, are you going to check that out at all? No, <laughs> it's, coming, it's coming on <laughs> on the same day Elden Ring releases. Oh, it's all, it comes out on Friday. Okay. I, I yeah. had no idea. Man, that's just uh. yeah. I kind of like so. I mean, we have we had Pokemon come out, which I, th- mm-hmm. I thought was like the perfect amount of time to kind of get through that and and yeah, you know, get ready for Pretty Elden much Ring. A full month. Horizon, I kind of feel bad for. Like, I know it's reviewing like really well and stuff like that, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll have no problem selling. But kind of man, uh, bad choice for them to to release it right now between Pokemon and Elden Ring, like, Ring, like three open world ish well pokemon not and so much, light but, as well yeah and dying light too um yeah that's yeah. Yeah. it kind of yeah. sucks too because it released right around the same time as breath of the wild back in 2017 yeah. so it just it got the shaft both times and you yeah. know like i'm sure people are yeah you know, there are a lot of people that are more excited for for horizon than elden ring or dying light heard, but, yeah yeah Elden Ring has a hype though. Like it's just you know it's yeah, gonna I'm, be good. Everybody knows it's gonna be a great game. Elden, like it's funny. Like I I know people love from games, um, but this one just feels different. It just feels like ma- more mainstream in a way that I don't understand. M- maybe because it's yeah, and I I doubt it's because uh George Railroad Martin is a part of it. I think <laughs> I think it's just, I think it's just I don't know, man. It's it's weird. It's yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is. It, it, maybe it's just like full scale open world and like it just feels there's so much more hype for this than there was for Sekiro. Yeah. And I, I, I was thinking about Sekiro too. Like I, I remember that, I mean, given that my, my game of the year back in 2018, I think 2019 when that came out. 2019. 2019. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which Gears 5. And, and in hindsight, I think I probably would have gave it to Gears, but um, I don't know. I, I think. Sekiro, I, I really did like that game, but I, I feel like it's probably the weakest of the the From games that I've personally played. Um, I, pref- I just prefer, like, the combat was interesting and unique, but I think I prefer just the standard style, you know, 
yeah dark souls combat and this is going to be seems like it's going to be a lot faster um you know and just more play styles it seems like sekiro kind of shoehorned you into yeah just you know just the timed blocks yeah and that was pretty yeah. much how you did every fight whereas with dark souls or or bloodborne you kind of have a couple of different builds that you can do yeah. and it's, granted i'm i'm i always tend to go with like the faster like the kind of the dexterity build mm-hmm. um but we'll see i might i might I might have the big weapons this time. My, my yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. I, I, I plan on, I think tomorrow or Wednesday, I think I'm going to go get me a new capture card and then mm-hmm. I may stream Thursday night. Um, it just depends. So, And you can I also stream from your Xbox. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I guess I could. Because you could just, you can plug in your camera to your Xbox. Well, I can, but I can also, uh, and I think I did it with Halo. Um, I casted it to my, uh, computer and I just played on my TV because there's like a half a second delay if I just played on mm-hmm. my monitor. So I might, I might do that. I might try that and see if that works. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to play. I'm, I cannot wait. So, well, H- Harrison, how's your week? <laughs> aside from, aside from the Elden Ring hype, how's your week been? Uh, it was good. Um, uh, yeah, we had one of our friends, daughter's birthday um she nice. turned five so we went over there and hung out for a little bit and then um sunday we went it was uh our grandma's uh, 82nd birthday so we went over to our parents house and did some burgers and stuff kept me and kellen played uh, uh disc golf with uh nice. the, the set that they have there um so that was fun and uh cool came back and just just chill played some more played some more pokemon uh yeah it was a good week it was a good week nice well, Harrison, I know you've been playing some more Pokemon, so I want to I want to hear how you're how you're feeling about it. You said you were loving it last week, and you had beaten it at that point, but now you've sounds like you've gone through most of the end game, and now yep. you're collecting all the Pokemon. How, how's yeah. that going? So I yeah I finished the game. Um, man, you, you're right. That last like last, last two like, battles battle. um were, were really tough. I had to I had to go back and. Uh, just kind of grind it out, man. I had to go find that giant uh, Alpha Blissey, um, and just and just farm uh, ex- experience points. I, I did, I did feel like, I mean, because the game there's not a ton of trainer battles, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like it really doesn't prepare you for the end. Um, but I, I feel like this yeah. game, the most RNG happened during this boss fight, where uh, and, and it didn't go in my favor. <laughs> where if I would like I would go first, but for whatever reason my my attack would would be dodged or missed or whatever the case is, and then yeah they would turn around and one shot me, uh, which you know maybe I should type match better, but just with what I had like he was just all of his Pokemon were super strong and and even if it wasn't a super effective move it would still almost still kill my Pokemon, um, so yeah I was the, the RNG was a little. Uh, irritating for that part um but i ended up finishing it up uh yeah and then just kind of started grinding out the uh the legendaries that you can get and all that good stuff um nick i will ask you a question now that you've now that you've beaten it and uh because you've completed the decks right i did yeah okay um if they're assuming obviously they're probably gonna do another legends game i'm this one Mm -hmm. Don't know the exact numbers, but it's it's sold like crazy. What what areas do you want to see improve from this game to the next? Yeah, so I was I was kind of thinking about that because I was wondering like would I want them to do it exactly the same, like kind of broken up into five specific areas. And like I think that could still work in another game. I think I think the gameplay itself is pretty tight. I think there could be some improvements to actual player movement. Mm-hmm. Maybe some, maybe, maybe just like even adding a jump button yeah, instead of nice. just a dodge roll and kind of streamlining some of those areas. But I think the actual, I think the actual catching and battling is, is pretty good. Yeah. I think, I think so it's too. pretty solid. Obviously if they can improve the graphics, that would be amazing. Like they're, they're, they're pretty bad. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Compare like I, was playing Final Fantasy VII earlier, and I was like, "Yeah, this looks a lot better." <laughs> like I didn't really realize it, but 
yeah, this looks a lot better than Pokemon and, you know, different games, different strokes, different scale. But yeah, I think improving the graphics, I think just streamlining some of the stuff. I know this is kind of a small thing, but but your uh, your Pokemon boxes, mm-hmm. just being able to organize it yeah, to some degree, nice. like organizing like by level or by name, um, maybe by like rarity. I don't, I don't think that's an actual category, but just some sort of organization there would be really, really cool. But like, as far as the actual gameplay goes, I think it's pretty solid. What, what about you? Do you think do you have any improvements that you want? Yeah, I, d- I definitely agree with with everything you said. Uh, I my my biggest thing now that you know after you go, um, you know through the to the different regions multiple multiple times. Um, I would really like to them just make. I mean, obviously there's Pokemon ev- everywhere, but like they don't do anything. I would just mm-hmm. I would like for them to like actually live in their habitat and actually you see them like you can, you know, I don't know if they have binoculars or something, but whatever the case is, like you can actually see them walking around and eating and maybe digging holes or going through logs or, or climbing and tree, like something like kind of like Pokemon snap. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yes. And then, then I guess to go into the graphics thing, I mean, you know, you're one of the richest uh, game studios out there. And again, (laughs) breath of the wild, a five-year-old game is, is looking way better than this. Uh, It's, it's, it's no excuse. It really is not. Um, There's just no way that they, you know, they, it's it's absolutely no excuse. Um, now they nailed. Yeah. Every, I think they nailed just about everything else. Um, I, I'm totally fine with um, the kind of the hub world. I think that was smart. Um, I don't I don't mind the different regions. Like I don't need I don't need to necessarily mm-hmm. have everything flow seamlessly. I would ha- like to have an option to sw- swap between the regions without having to go back to the hub. That would be kind of nice. Yes. Yes. Um, especially when you're trying to clean up side quests and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the graphics, the graphics as well. It, they, they, they'll have a pass for this game because it was so, it was so First fun. Yeah. Um, but the next one, it, it better look damn good. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not a make or break for me, by the way. Like, I'll, I'll still get the next one because this one was so much fun. But it better look a lot better than that. Like, there's like just the textures on it are like, <laughs> yeah, and like PS actual... one like textures. It's, it's really yeah. bad. <laughs> the, the models, like the Pokemon models, they look pretty good. The character models all look like you know, relatively okay, but God, those, yeah, the, um, just the ground textures and rock formation textures, like they all, they look, they look like a PS1 game. It was like a Nintendo 64 game, but <laughs> if if that's the thing we're complaining about and it's not just, you know, something wrong with the mechanics or the fundamentals of, of the game, yeah. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really all I can complain about is just making it a little bit easier to swap between the regions making the world feel more lived in. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, even, even the, the, like the NPCs, they just stand there, you know, and, and a lot of games do that. I understand, but like, it's a really small hub. Like you couldn't have them doing the stuff. Like even, around. even in like Ocarina of Time, you see them cutting wood or doing something like they'll, they'll walk around. They don't, they don't do that. Nobody <laughs> walks in this game. It's insane. They're just, um, so yeah, I just, for... it's Pokemon company or game freak. So like, you're going to get what you get. You know, they're, they don't take a lot of risks and they don't do a lot of animations in their games. Um, so, you know, you, you get what you get, but yeah, you get. a couple, a couple of things <laughs> to improve upon with the next one. But other, other than that, man, I, I think it's, it, you know, stacked with, with Elden Ring and Zelda, you know, maybe not necessarily game of the year potential, but uh, def- probably definitely be on my top 10 uh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, this might even be top five, top yeah, three, top depending five, on how yeah. the year shakes out. Because, yeah, yeah like it's such a, such a pleasant surprise. I mean, we've said this a million times, but coming off of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, like, I kind of hated those games, <laughs> and then we got yeah. these, and I'm like, damn, this is a good, this is a really good Pokemon game. Like, they really shook it up and shook it up for better, for the better. So, yeah, I agree. Pokemon Arceus. Yeah. Good old Pokemon Arceus. Um, that is all I have been playing, Nick. What have, have you been playing anything else other than Pokemon? This is my first week without Pokemon, without playing oh, okay. since it launched. So I've I've played two games. I, I dove into Final Fantasy VII remake yesterday. Or yeah, it was yesterday. Uh that game is really, really good. It 
it looks pretty incredible. Um, I've never played the original Final Fantasy VII, so I have no attachments to to the first or to the original game. But yeah, <laughs> have you played it before? Have you played? Seven? I I've never have. I've I've only seen a few videos and stuff. I just so okay. not that I never not that I'm against it or anything. I just yeah, you know, I never never played it <laughs> so let me ask you what, what is your interpretation of cloud like do you, what kind of person do you think he is just looking at him or seeing him like in other he, he probably looks like he probably says a lot of one-liners um uh-huh. he's like that i don't know cool guy you know like quote like you know uh uh-huh uh i don't he's i don't know if, <laughs> okay i was gonna say like douche or something like that dude he's it look, it looks like he's it's, probably a douche but it's not even cool. Like he, he does say a lot of one-liners, but it's, he's just a jerk to everybody. And I'm like, <laughs> even Alicia, who was watching me play, she was like, "This guy kind of sucks." <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I, I agree. He does suck. I was like, I'm hope, I'm hoping he gets better throughout the game. I'm only on chapter three, but yeah, he's kind of a buzzkill. Yeah, like Tifa, one of the other characters, is is so nice to him, and he'll just give her like one word responses or won't even respond or will give like some sassy remark. Maybe he'll have a a nice uh, character arc or something. Who knows? Yeah. But I just, before playing this game, I thought cloud was going to be like this really cool guy, like really, really cool already for the people, you know, but he's, he's too cool for school. He's too cool for his own good. Too school for cool. (laughs) But in terms of the actual game, um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the combat. It's pr- pretty similar to to Final Fantasy 15, right. at least from from what I remember. So it's like pretty pretty action based. It's it's not like turn based anymore. Um, and then, gosh, I <laughs> I should have played Final Fantasy like the original Final Fantasy 7 because I didn't know the story was about like bioterrorism. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's pretty heavy, and yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's a cool game. I. I mean, I I will definitely put it down once Elden Ring comes out, but you know, it's something to something to play for something a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and then this game. So I so I purchased Ali Ali World a few weeks ago, and I don't know why I did because I was playing Pokemon so much. But I purchased it, and then I started playing it this week and a little bit of last week. And holy crap, this game is incredible! It is so much fun. It even if you're not a skate and this is kind of like a skateboarding 2d game um kind of in the art style of like an adventure time esque art style and you're going through these like five separate worlds and you're going through level by level and there are challenges specific to each level that you have to do and you know all this stuff and yeah this game is this game is absolutely incredible i've I've been having so much fun with it just going through all the levels and completing the challenges and trying to like 100% each level before going through to the next one. And I played the original Ali Ali on the 3DS, I think, and then picked up Ali Ali 2 on the Switch and, and didn't get into it too much. But this game just improves on both of those games just incredibly and makes it so accessible and so much more accessible than the first games. And it's a really it's a really good time. I would recommend this game for for anyone who likes two D two D action games. Yeah. I mean, I I really don't know what to call it because you don't have to be a skateboarding fan to to enjoy this game. But does yeah, it have? I have. I really. I don't think I've seen any videos of this. Does it have like trials vibes to it? Or no? Not. Not really. I don't okay. think. The levels are pretty fast paced and it's not, it's not like too difficult too far so far, but yeah, I I wouldn't say it's like trials. Okay. I don't know if it was like that kind of quickness where you, you did a run and then failed and then just restarted real quick and or yeah, you, do that, you do that. Okay. You do that. You kind of instantly restart if okay. you, if you fail, but there are checkpoints throughout and you know, so it's not. It's not like you're losing too much time. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, it's a really cool game. I think, well, I'm definitely going to play through it to the end, but it's just been cool because each each section kind of introduces a new mechanic to the game. Okay. Like the the second section introduced wall riding, 
So oh, like cool. while riding on billboards and stuff. And then the third one introduced like grabs and, and spins. So there's always something new, which is, which is really cool. So yeah, I recommend this game to anyone who, who, who wants to check it out. <laughs> if it sounds it cool anybody. to you right now, I'd pick it up. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's just about it. And Oh, I'm excited for this uh, games we've been playing list next week. Yes. Yeah. I'm super excited for uh, Elden Ring impressions. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. You want to move on to the, uh, to the news? Let's move on to the news. Let's do it. So uh, we were pretty much right with that uh, Capcom countdown thing. I know we had, you know, kind of speculated on what we, we would prefer. Um, but yeah, Street Fighter Six got announced. Um is this still PS5 exclusive or PlayStation exclusive? Do they mention that? I know there's like a new collection pack coming out to everything pretty much, but um, is this, did they say it's PlayStation exclusive or not? I'm not sure if they said it. Because 5, five was exclusive, right? It was, yes, yeah, the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is exclusive or not. But, I mean, do you think it would be? I mean, I would imagine they probably would have said it if it was, but maybe, maybe it's too early, or maybe that's maybe that was already maybe that was already the case. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, either way, I'm I'm I said it last week. Not really a fighting game fan, so you know, probably probably not gonna check it out anyways. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, it, it didn't mention in the article that I read. So who knows? Yeah. The character models look pretty interesting. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they, it's almost like they took Ryu and just widened him. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like what they did to Chris Redfield in, in Resident Evil Village. I feel like they just took the Chris from Resident Evil 7 and just just um, widened him out a little bit. Getting bigger muscles. Yeah. Made him look bigger. Yeah, it's kind of weird. They they, they kind of do that with their with their characters. Hmm. Or at least they have recently. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But we don't know when this is coming out, right? This is just, just yeah. I think they're gonna and yeah, and have Slater details something this year. Okay. Um, so I, I don't know if it comes out this year or not, or or what the case is. But yeah, let, later more announcements down the road, as with everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, Horizon Forbidden West has been reviewing pretty well, right? Yeah, it's sitting at I believe an eighty-eight on 80, Metacritic, yep. which is like <laughs> what every other what every other game gets now it's like an yeah, 88 right. or 87 <laughs> which i think death loop got an 88 halo infinite got around that yeah something like that yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a lot of good games recently um yeah a lot of good games yeah i i will save this for when i eventually get a ps5 and and can uh uh play it um I've heard some like from a couple of podcasts I've listened to. Some people are vibing with it. Some people will take it says it takes quite a while to get into the open world, which the first one, if I remember correctly, that was kind of the way as well. It took a while to get into yeah. the to the open world stuff. And I don't know, apparently, apparently Aloy is, is kind of a dick. So who knows? Yeah, that's what I heard. And and it's one of those or from from what I heard, it's one of those things where she's like constantly talking and, and talking about like how to solve a puzzle yeah. and not giving the player enough time to think about it before she says something. Mm. Um, which is like the polar opposite from Elden Ring, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> it's like just your silent protagonist that's never going to tell you anything about no. what's going on. Yeah, you just got to rely on your, maybe your friends or they'll lead you into a trap. I think there's going to be so many, oh, I can't do, I can't, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so many like, well, just text boxes, whatever. Go here, there's treasure, and it's a freaking oh, mimic or something. Favorite part. Yeah, can you? Are there uh, player messages? In this I don't game? know. I, I haven't seen that, but I imagine there probably is, right? Um, I hope so. I, that's one of the reasons I got PlayStation Plus when I got the PS5, so I could have player messages and Demon Souls. <laughs> oh, they don't have the that parts. just without PlayStation Plus. I don't think I so. They do. I didn't. I didn't have it with Bloodborne when I played that. Did Bloodborne have them? It did. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. 
it's such a I weird know. thing to not include. Yeah, it's regardless of. Yeah, that's that's odd. Yeah. So the, yeah, this game's for, um, Horizon Forbidden Rest, Forbidden, Forbidden, forbidden West. Rest. rest. <laughs> no resting for you. <laughs> Which is kind of true. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she doesn't sleep, but no. Yeah, reviewing well, 88. Sweet. Maybe yeah, we'll... I'll, I'll definitely probably pick it up some point. Maybe if I ever catch it on sale, I'll just pick it up and have it ready to go. So we shall see. I have like I have quite the backlog of of PS5 games. Yes, you do. <laughs> I still have Death Loop, Ghost of Tsushima, Final Fantasy VII, Miles Morales. I think that's it. That's a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, I completely missed this one, Nick. The next one. Yeah, so this was announced today, I think. But Pokemon Day is February twenty seventh, and so every day this week, there's going to be like a new, a new Pokemon announcement. So, okay. uh February twenty first is that? That's today, right? Yes, yeah, today. There is an announcement for Pokemon Masters X. Tomorrow, there's going to be one for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, on the 23rd, there's going to be one for Pokemon Cafe Mix. On the 24th, there's going to be an announcement for Pokemon Unite. February 25th, there's going to be one for P25 Music. Or P25 Music. Oh, probably Pokemon 25 okay. Music. And then February 26th is Pokemon Go News. And they okay. haven't announce like any pokemon presentation or anything for the actual pokemon day but i mean we can only assume there's going to be some sort of announcement on on the 27th yeah for for just hopefully for uh, yeah just want to see some marcia stuff right that's what we kind of want they, they yeah. Nintendo kind of trolled us last week they like released like a it was like a, a warden update or something and i was like oh dude sweet new stuff already but it was like just just a trailer for stuff that's already in the game. Oh. But they specifically worded it like update to wardens or like why do y'all do that? It's really annoying. Yeah, it's weird. Um yeah, I cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really care about any of the announcements that are happening this week, but no. Excited yeah. to see if there's like anything anything coming this Sunday. Yeah, hopefully we get some something Ar- Arceus related. That would be so it'd be some cool. DLC. Like, oh, it would be I feel like it'd be so easy to do GLC for RCS. Yeah. I'll be uh yeah. I don't know, add it to the expansion pack or something. Probably not for this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not for for Pokemon, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, they could even show like Gen 9. I don't know if they would, but my, it, it might be too early for that. Maybe, yeah. I, yeah, I'm good. I'm good with Gen 9. I just want more RCS stuff. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's right. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then last one, Majora's Mask coming to uh it's already announced, but it's coming to a Nintendo Switch online uh expansion pass on Elden Ring Day this Friday, the 25th. It's coming this Friday. Yeah. Which is a weird time, but I'm glad this is getting more content. I mean, this is, yeah, like you said, this is already announced. We know there's a couple of other things coming to this, but is it is it just one game a month? Is that the cadence that they're doing? Yes, I'm not really sure. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Why not just um, like, put them all out? If you have a 3DS and want to fork over, I don't know how expensive it is right now, uh, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I would say get that version. It, it's really good. That uh, that 3ds yeah. version looks. It looks really nice in 3D. Um, Nick, is there anything since we talked about the 3ds shop closing down, the Wii U shop closing down uh, next year, um, and they're doing cutting down like ways you could buy it this year? Is there anything that you would recommend to anybody like on the shop that they stuff that I mean, it's it's so it's so frustrating with the Nintendo because. Like Xbox is like, screw it. You can play any generation you want on the newest console. Yeah. I it really irritates me. I think going forward, whatever the next Switch is, whatever the next like, they have to start letting us bring our stuff with us. Like I don't, yeah, it's it's ridiculous at this point. Like there's just I, I understand you want to resell stuff and all that good stuff, and that's fine. You know you can do your remakes. You can you can resell it on the console. But if I've already purchased it. Let me just play it on 
the switch it, it, it just makes yeah. no sense to me it, it's 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 ridiculous at this point um sony's getting a little bit better i guess i mean they had i mean the ps3 had ps2 and ps1 backwards compatibility and then they stopped making those units and then they started selling the stuff um so there's still options to buy the stuff um or, or give me that option just let me buy the like, just give me those versions just put it all on the, the switch if I have something. to buy it again, I'll make that decision. Uh, I'm assuming if if it's just on there, I should be able to transfer my stuff since it's all the same account. But yeah, at this point, it's just kind of frustrating. And I think a lot of people have, have reopened that conversation this mm-hmm. week since they've announced this, this stuff. Um, yeah. And at this point, I'm honestly surprised that Nintendo hasn't kind of backtracked on it and decided to keep him open because that's – I'm pretty sure that's what Sony did for the – They did, but Nintendo is Nintendo PSP. and they're not – they don't care. They're not going to change their mind. They're not going to change their mind. But it's crazy because like there are so many games on the 3DS and Wii U that are just they're going to be lost to time because they were um they were digital only. Yeah. And like like there are just so many games that you can't you can't even get on the Switch like like something like Xenoblade Chronicles X which was only on the Wii U. Like that that game's hard to get physically now. It, it's only going to be harder to get I mean, it's going to be impossible to get digitally pretty soon. And it's going to be and, just super expensive. Yeah. And then... Like, I, bet, I bet X comes over to Switch at one point, some point. I think it will so at some point. But, like, and I get, I get... I get their decision to shut it down because it's probably really expensive with all those servers that they, that they yeah. have to ma- maintain. Yeah, and they, they, they probably crunch the numbers and they see, you know, everybody's moved on. You know, there's no reason to keep this open. And people can, of course, mm-hmm. still re-download stuff you know, for the time being. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, it's extra frustrating because the Wii U was like, it it, it had so many retro games on it. Like, mm-hmm. it, it was kind of a retro machine. Like, it had all the, all the older Metroid games. Yep. It had, like, even, like, GBA games, like Fire Emblem on there. Like there, there's just a lot of stuff on the Wii U that just frankly hasn't been anywhere else. And, you know, I'm pretty sure they made that decision initially because they wanted to sell more units because no one was buying the Wii U. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't really pay off. So, ah, yeah, it's kind of frustrating because now, now I'm having to think about what games I want to get before I can never play them again. Yeah, exactly. That's where like, I'm, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Like, should I get Metroid Prime Trilogy? Or are you guys going to remake it? Like, should yeah. I get by? How, it how much it is it on the eShop? Is it like twenty bucks? I might, I might just pick it up. Yeah, I, uh, I went up when I was over at mom and dad's. I, I grabbed the, uh, the GameCube and all the accessories for it, all the controllers. So oh, I'm nice. probably going to bust it out at some point and play that, play that nice. again. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, it's super frustrating. I, I just don't understand. I mean, if they just put the resources into just bringing that over, just bring the eShop over. The eShop was pretty good for the most part on the Wii U. Like there was just so many options to yeah to pick from, and and the Switch. I mean, there's there's obviously a ton of good Switch games, but you know, I would like to download you know my games. You know, so yeah, I don't know. It should, it should be that simple, but Nintendo just makes it more difficult. They like it's like they hate. It's like they hate their older games. It's like they're ashamed of them. Yeah. And just want to hide them in these older consoles. And I don't know. It just, it, it feels wasteful. It feels, it just, yeah, it just feels like they don't care. And maybe financially they don't have to, but. Yeah. I, I just think going forward and I, you know, it's Nintendo, so probably not. But yeah, I, I just think they just need to, everything that we purchased on Twitch has to be able to go to the next console you know with with limitations you know if it's the next console doesn't have any sort of like motion controls or something you know, obviously some games aren't going to be able to go forward but mm-hmm. man it's frustrating <laughs> yeah we shouldn't have to wait five years for the game boy advance to come to nintendo switch online for us to play uh metroid zero mission like, yeah it's literally handheld like it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah it just makes makes no sense um Harrison I do yes I do have a question of the week let's do it that I wanted to talk about 
And this is, this is, you know, of course, every time a new FromSoft game comes out, <laughs> this uh, this topic gets brought up. But should should more difficult games like Dark Souls and you know, kind of like those Souls like games that are pretty punishing, should those have an easy mode? I mean, maybe if they want to get more people to play. I mean, because if they have an easy mode and then they have the regular mode, obviously veterans are just going to do the regular stuff. So, like, I know people will complain, oh, you can't put easy baby mode into Dark Souls or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe it's fine. Like, I don't really have a problem with it. It doesn't, mm-hmm. you know, it gets more people to play your game, you know. This one, this one sounds like it's probably going to be less punishing than all the others. Uh, a little bit more um, friendly towards maybe newcoming players, which it sounds like there's going to be mm-hmm. a lot of new newcoming players to the, to the, this franchise. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no problem with it. You know, give it like people want to play the game. It shouldn't matter, you know, if it's hard or not. It's you know, you pay the money. You know, if you want to just experience the game for what it is, uh, maybe you're not getting the true experience that you know <laughs> veterans are going to say but you know it's fine it doesn't hurt as yeah. long as they don't make the overall game like the overall game easier for the, for the new people if they just have a separate mode or something like that that's fine i have no problem with that okay what about you or you think you think some games are just can be hard and that's okay and that's also okay like it doesn't have to be for everybody yeah i'm, I'm kind of torn like because i don't, don't want to i don't want to gatekeep and say like hey you got to get good um, I think like a lot of these games could use use more accessibility options. Yeah. To not make the game easier, but just make it more accessible for people who may have a harder time playing a game like this. Mm-hmm. Um but aside from that, like with a game with a game like Elden Ring, with a game like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, right now it's kind of as, as hard as you want it to be. Because you can grind, I mean, you can grind until the end of time yeah. and just level and level, get over leveled and then kind of crush a boss. Whereas with, with like, with a game like Cuphead, you can't really do that. No, you just got to Like, it's just, it's just brutally punishing. And I don't, I don't think there's a difficulty option in Cuphead. Well, just like normal and hard, but with, with, with Dark Souls, yeah, kind of like what I said, you can just kind of make it as difficult as you want. I think a lot of the difficulty in Dark Souls is kind of overblown. I think it's more of the the gravity in dying in Dark Souls is so much higher. Like the weight of it is so much heavier in Dark Souls because you have to go back to the last bonfire. Yeah. Run up to the boss, spend five minutes, you know, getting through all these enemies. But And I think that's really... yeah. For most people, it's probably heavily weighted on the in the front of the game because you're so weak and mm-hmm. you're you're still learning the mechanics, you're still learning the environments that when you when you die, it, it feels way more punishing. But when you get you know twenty hours to the game and you're you're pretty leveled up, like yeah, you die and that sucks because you, you fought this boss ten times in a row. But it's it's less less consequence like consequential like you're not mm-hmm. you you probably learn the mechanics okay i know where this bonfire is you know i know the route that i need to take you know you're probably not going to risk it with your higher souls or whatever the the currency is in this game mm-hmm. um you just have a better understanding of of the game so i think yeah i think it's heavily weighted up front and that's what turns a lot of people off yeah that's that's why i was turned off to dark souls 2 at first that was the first one i played and it was like it turned out i was just going the wrong way yeah, because but it doesn't tell you that. that you and that's the yeah. problem with it doesn't it doesn't teach you anything. Like you mm-hmm. learn everything through items, and it's kind of convoluted. And I forgot to mention, but that's kind of the issue I've always had with Pokemon. Is like when you're trying to evolve stuff, like you don't it doesn't tell you. It just says, okay, this Pokemon, this Leaf Stone is loved by this specific Pokemon. Or mm-hmm. um, like I was trying, I think it was um, Quillfish. You have to yeah. like use strong style for like that bar barrage. Like, who's gonna know? I would that? never know that if I didn't look that up. Maybe it tells you in the game, but probably not. So, like, stuff like yeah, that, kind of you know, weird things. It's 
again, maybe it's in the game. Maybe it's some random text you find because I haven't talked to every single NPC in the game. But yeah, maybe just doing a little, little better job of onboarding the the player. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that's a problem that Dark Souls has. What it is, is it? Is it is it a, is it a problem or is it just how it's meant to be? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good Never point because people like us, I mean, we we persevered and yeah, we we expect it. Yeah. Yeah, you expect it and Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's it's a good question because like on it's kind of on a case by case basis. Yeah. For a lot of these games. Cuz if it was if it was someone to say, "Hey, I'm thinking about getting Elden Ring. I know they have like a, a an easy mode. What do you recommend?" And I would say just play the game as it was meant to be. Try that out first. And if you just can't wrap your head around it, then switch over. Mm-hmm. But I would fully recommend to play because it's meant to be hard. It's meant to like challenge you and get you frustrated. You know, you can, you know, there's multiple different paths you can take. Well, not necessarily with Elden Ring because it's open world, but with the other games, there's multiple paths you can take. So if you hit a boss, you know, there's two other, three other paths that you can kind of venture down mm-hmm. And see how far you can get with there and, and get more souls and level up and then oh, you're, then you're ready for the boss. So, you know, it's it, it's what, yeah, it's, like you said, it's, it's a it's a it's a, it's a tough call because. Yeah. And like, how do you. How do you make a game like Elden Ring easier? Do you just scale back the the HP? I guess. Yeah. Of a boss. Do you do you scale back like damage output from from a boss or from enemies or. It, or is that something you can counter with with just leveling? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. The or, or maybe are, maybe the maybe the easy mode receive. is you don't lose souls. Like maybe that's just it. You just you don't. There's no okay. penalty to death, but everything else is the same. That that would be yeah. kind of cool. I mean, that would be a nice accessibility feature. It, it would take um, a lot of the stress out of it. I think. Yeah. For a lot of you know, people, it's still as hard as it is for a normal player. You just don't have the consequence of dying and, and losing your stuff. So maybe, maybe that's the answer. Yeah. Um. For stuff like that, maybe maybe not scale back the enemies, but just have that scale consequence back the taken away. Yeah. I mean, that could be. That's a good. That's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, you have games like Last of Us Two with like one of the best accessibility options in gaming ever, and like you can straight up just be stealthy the entire time and not have to worry about even if you break sight, you're still like there's just so many options, and you know mm-hmm. you give the player the options. Like it doesn't matter as long as they're playing, as long as they buy your game and are playing it and loving it. Yeah. You know, let them let them play how they want. But yeah, Dark Dark Souls and and that series is tricky because, like, again, I would yeah. always recommend play the way it's meant to be played. And you know, and there are a lot of a lot of purists with a lot of opinions on oh, how yes. Yes. how to play Dark Souls, but the correct way to play it. Yes, which is a whole another can of worms to open up. I will but... use my mage. <laughs> yeah, that's there's your easy mode. Just yeah. uh, just use mage. mage. Um. Yeah, I'm excited for this game, dude. <laughs> oh, I did. I did forget to mention. Uh, Brittany and I finished it takes two. On oh, uh, you did? yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, we uh, nice. Um, yeah, we came back and we just drank a couple beers and we're like, all right, <laughs> couple brewskis, couple brews. Um, we're like, all right, we're gonna finish this game, and we yeah, we ended up finishing it. It was uh, I liked the ending. Um, it wasn't like a necessarily a a super happy ending, but you could tell that they mm-hmm. were better. Better than they were. Better than they started, and you don't really know what the future means or holds. But so yeah, it was it wasn't like a a, a crystal clear, you know, Disney happy ending kind of thing. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, I really liked it though. That that's last that last music level was was pretty awesome. Uh, going through oh, yeah, that. that that one's cool. Yeah, it was super cool. Um, glad you finished yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I am too. It, that was an excellent game. Cool game. Nice. All right, that is going to uh to wrap up the news. Um tweet at us, let us know, you know, you know, should should Dark Souls have an easy mode? You know, should should it should have an easy mode? Should games have more accessibility options, all that good stuff. Uh let mm-hmm. us know, Nick, where can they follow us at Twitter? They can follow us at gaming WT Bros on Twitter. You can follow us right here on Twitch at Gaming with the Bros Casts or Gaming with the Bro Yeah, Gaming with the Bros Casts. I got it right. <laughs> And then you can follow us on TikTok, also at Gaming with the Broscast. So those are the three places we are. But but check us out on Twitter. You can DM us any questions. You can, um, yeah, let us let us know if Dark Souls should have an easy mode. 
let us know if you'd be more interested in it if it had like some sort of easier difficulty option or or like Harrison said where you don't lose your souls on every death that could be that could be really interesting yeah but yeah um yeah follow us in there because I'm sure we'll have a ton of uh Elden Ring clips and stuff (laughs) specifically for TikTok um and yeah just it's gonna get saucy yeah I got I got a couple of Halo clips I want to upload uh I played the other day and uh I had a genuine laugh out loud moment when I killed oh this gosh. guy. Um, so I'm probably going to upload those, but uh, yeah. If you, and if you haven't check out our, uh, check out our trailer on TikTok. Um, we both worked pretty hard on that. Uh, I mean, fil- filming the videos is pretty easy. Like it's, yeah. yeah it just, just, just think nineties uh, sitcom intro. And uh, that's all you need to know. So go, go check yeah. that out. Cause it's, it's pretty funny. We think I need to find some like nineties music to go along with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go follow us on the uh, the socials, and we will be back next um, next Monday at eight thirty with uh, some Elden Ring, baby. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it this weekend. I'm gonna finish the whole game. <laughs> I would not be surprised, Dick. <laughs> like, I, like with Resident Evil, like, oh yeah, I beat it the day it came out. I was like, what? What? Oh yeah, I've already. I've, I think I finished it. it was like. This, dude what <laughs> i don't know man something about new zealand just, just gets me going <laughs> just gets because like different. if i don't play it on thursday night like i probably won't i'll probably play it a little bit friday but not a ton and i'll really deep dive it on saturday that's usually how yeah. it goes with with games for me um but i, I think i'm pretty pretty positive i'm gonna yeah. be a new zealander on uh thursday <laughs> oh you gotta be you can, you can start playing it about 11 a.m on thursday Oh, the whole, oh, geez, like the whole day then? I thought it was yeah. like at midnight. Okay. Mm, no, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's midnight New Zealand. So that's like, they're like 16 hours ahead. Oh, right, right. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Nice. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably hit the pre order sometime this week and then yeah. get, it, get it downloaded. Yeah. Cause I think it's what a two day, two day install or something, like um, two days in advance. You can preload it. Oh, is that the case? I think, for, I think, I think you can reload it. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think so. Nice. Um, but yeah, we will see you guys uh, next week. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.